How's it going guys? It's Amazing Animal Adventures and uh, today is March 4th I think. May the 4th be with you. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get out there and do some herping. It's been raining off and on right now. It's not at the moment but you can see by my wet hair that it has been all over the place. And um, that rain brings out box turtles which is what I'm hoping to find on this trip. So maybe we can find a couple of those. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, and then whatever else we can find out there today. It's a great day. It's in the 70s. Uh, it's middle of spring, it's prime herping time, so we just need to go and see what we have. Thought we might find some box turtles. That's a big one too. This dude is awesome. I think this is definitely uh, the largest box turtle I've ever caught. That, that that that's a big that's a big box turtle next to my hand. You can see the thing. It's it's sizable. Uh, this is a male. You can tell because they have a concave on the bottom of their shell. Uh, so they can actually mount the females a little bit better, but man, this guy's gorgeous. Look at that pattern. Oh my, always blows me away. It's very common to find box turtles out in the rain. Often in the middle of the heat, it's too hot for them to come out, and then they'll come out in the rain and they'll hunt for earthworms and everything's nice. But this guy's a great first catch, but uh, I'm going to keep on going and see what else we can find. So I'm here at this creek, right, and I'm just flipping rocks. Not necessarily sure what I'm going to find. Maybe a salamander or a frog that's hiding out. I'm not necessarily sure. But I flip one, and there's this really, really cool uh, water snake. It's either a northern water snake or a banded water snake. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if I did come to a decision, it'll be captioned here on the video, of course. Um, but this guy's really, really cool. He's deep in shed. You can see with those eyes, you know, can't see too well. That's probably, he, he was pretty pissed off when I first picked him up. He was striking and all like Rah! but he's not really strong enough to break my skin anyways I didn't know water snakes really lived at creeks like this like I would have been more lakes and ponds and rivers and stuff which is where I found them in the past but um no this is a tiny creek through the through, through the forest but I guess water snakes live here too but a really 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 cool find this just made my day flip this rock right and it's in the rain and look at this five line skink down there he wasn't in the water at first and he's not drowned he's hiding in the water hoping I don't notice him nope swing it away nope nope I got you. oh he's so cool that blue tail oh no I don't want to make you lose your tail blue tail so pretty look at that it's a stunning color. And the yellow stripes are cool too. Great find. Never too late for a little skink. So guys, it's been a great day of herping, or a couple hours at least. We found the box turtle, and then the water snake, and then a little five line skink to top it off. Never hurts to have another skink, right? But uh, yeah, really exciting day. Uh, the box turtle was great. That water snake, that is really, really the highlight of the day. What a cool find. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys will join me next time for the next episode of Herping. I'll see you later.